All right, so this is exact equations. Uh, an exact equation will be given to you in the form of m dx plus n dy equals zero. Uh, these are a little bit tougher to solve than what we've seen previously. They're, well, the tough part comes in remembering what to do, really. The steps themselves aren't all that difficult. Uh, so the first thing you want to do is test for exactness. And you do this by taking your m and taking the derivative of it opposite to what's here. So we're going to take di m di y. So easy way to remember, just opposite of what's here. That way if you mix up the n and the m, not that big of a deal. And you also want to take di n di x. And if they're equal, you're good. You got an exact equation, you can use this method to solve. So basically what's going to happen is you want to take your m and you want to take the integral of that m with respect to x. So we're going to take the integral here of m dx and then we're going to add on something else. We're going to call that g of y. It's just another term and that's going to be capital F at x and y because typically there will be x's and y's in there. Uh, next up, after you've done that, you're going to take uh, di f di y of this whole thing. So including this, so you're going to end up with a g prime of y and then you're going to set that equal to n. And now, then after you do that, you want to solve that equation for g of y. So remember, after you took your derivative up, or your, yeah, your derivative up here, this is going to turn into g prime of y. So you'll have to separate that, and get it in terms of everything else, and then integrate it back to get g of y. After you've done that, you're pretty much done. Your final solution, uh, it just looks like this. Original integral of m dx plus g of y equals c. And that's about it. It's pretty simple. Uh, Keynote, solution is not a y equals equation. All right, so let's run through that again. We're going to check for exactness. Take di m di y, di n di x. If they're equal, you're good. You're going to integrate m dx and add a separate term, g of y. Uh, set that equal to f, capital F of x and y. You're going to take the derivative of capital F with respect to y. Set that equal to n. That's this n. And then you're going to solve for g of y. Then your final solution just looks like that. So let's do an example. Our sample question here is 3x squared plus 4xy dx plus 2x squared plus 2y dy equals 0. So first thing, of course, we're going to check for exactness. This, of course, is our m. This is n. So we're going to take di m, di y, because that's the opposite of what's here. And you end up with 4y. Oops, sorry, 4x. There. That's 4x. So now we're going to look at n. And you're going to take di n, di x, and y's disappear. You end up with 4x, same thing. We have an exact equation. So our first step here, capital F of x and y equals the integral of m, which is 3x squared plus 4xy dx plus our g of y. And then when we compute that integral, we're going to get x cubed plus 2x cubed y. 
Oop, my own dope. Yes, I am. 2x squared plus g of y. This is, of course, still capital of x, capital F of x of y. So now we're going to take this and we're going to take the derivative with respect to y and set it equal to n. So we have do, 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 do. derivative with respect to y gives us 2x squared plus g prime of y equals, we're just going to take n from here and just bring it right down, 2x squared plus 2y. And now we need g prime, of, we need g of y, we have g prime of y, and so we're going to solve for that. You can see here, 2x squared on both sides, those will cancel out. So now we're just going to take the integral of this, integral of that, and we get g of y equals y squared. And now we're pretty much done. So remember our solution is our original integral of m dx. So that's this one right here. The final solution is x cubed plus 2x squared y plus our g at y here, y squared equals c. That's all there is to it.